Alright guys, so I am going to be doing the haul to um, the yard sales that I went to and the curb alert that I stopped at. Uh, I think this is going to be in the same video. If not, um, we shall see. But, okay, so let's see. First place, I stopped at first yard sale. I did not find anything. It was mainly just... Um, dude stuff is what I say when I see a lot of like tools and things like that. Um, so I didn't find anything there. Then I went on a wild goose chase trying to find another yard sale that I didn't see. So I don't think they were having it today, even though it said in the advertisement that it was. Um, and then I stopped at a curb alert, which I got, I only took two things from the free pile at the curb alert. The first thing was this I thought this was like a Buddha figure, but I could be wrong. I'm not exactly sure uh, the technical term for this statue, uh, but it is marked MCI Japan on the bottom. So I took it for free. I don't really know if, um, you know, it's really worth anything or not, but I just took a chance on it. And then the only other thing I took from the free pile was this Hallmark ornament. It's just this little like choo-choo train and it says Christmas 76 and it is marked Hallmark Cards. It's like a resiny plastic is I guess is how I would describe it. Um, so I thought, you know, maybe someone who had this on their Christmas tree back then and, you know, wants it back, then, you know, I'll list that. Maybe it'll sell. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, with those two things and then I went to I went to a sale that I went to last week in hopes that oh my gosh you know oh my gosh I was like why is my butt feel so warm right now like I thought something was wrong not that I was like pooping myself or anything like that but like my butt was starting to feel really warm I had something sitting on my um, button down here to turn on my heated seats. <laughs> That's why my butt was warm. Oh my goodness. Okay. So at this yard sale that I went to last week, I thought, you know, maybe there was a chance that they put out some new stuff or something like that. I didn't record there. I think I had mentioned already, uh, but I did pick up three things that I didn't pick up last time I was there. So the first one was this purse. And if you saw my video from when I was recording, you probably saw this purse, but I didn't look to see who it was made by, but it's actually a B. Mikowski bag. I'll show you the interior. It's got that really awesome, like a uh, cheetah print. And like I said, it's made by B. Mikowski. So um, this was $2.00. And all of her purses that I got from her last week were $2 as well. So I thought that was a great deal. It's a nice condition. Just like a very like um, light purple. Very pale purple. Um, I also bought this from her. I was just automatically drawn to the colors. I thought it was so pretty. It appears to be hand painted. And on the bottom it says Mexico with Juan Pila L. I didn't look it up yet, so I don't really know if it's worth anything. Um, there's like a slight chip on the bottom, but you honestly really wouldn't see that. Um, but yeah, it was just so pretty. I love the vibrant colors of it. And there's like little animals kind of scattered throughout. There's a bird there and then a little guy right here. So she wanted $5 for this. So I paid $5 for it. So hopefully that was a good deal. It's nice. That's what was sitting on my heated seat button. And then I also took these as well. And it looks like this, they're in this little um, container. <laughs> they're these ceramic, they're marked, made in Japan on the bottom. When I asked her what they were, at first I thought they were salt cellars. <laughs> Just cause anytime I see like a little tray like this, I think it's a salt cellar. And then I thought maybe it was like for tea bags, like, you know, have a little tea party and everyone gets their little like tray for a tea bag. And I was like, what are these things? And she said that they were ashtrays. They're ashtrays. She said like back in the day when, you know, people were having like dinner parties, you know, people smoked a lot more back. Well, people probably smoke a lot more now too, but, um, 
back then I guess it was a little more elegant or whatever uh, but she said like everyone at the dinner table would have their own little individual ashtray something new I that's why like when I'm at a yard sale I like asking the people what stuff is when I don't know what it is because you learn stuff so these are actually little individual ashtray ceramic I thought they were so pretty I liked the look of them but when I asked her because I said are those are those tea like for tea bags and she just laughed and she's like well you could use them for that if you want to I was like, okay <laughs> like I was just imagining a tea party and everyone having their own little tray for their tea bag one sale I stopped at, it was a lot of like antique type stuff, a lot of older things, which the prices were on the higher side. I'm sure there's money to be made um, buying stuff like that at, you know, yard sales where they are selling like antiques and stuff. But since I don't know like a whole lot about it, I don't want to end up paying like $25 for something and then realizing that I'm only going to be able to make my $25 back reselling it. So I don't tend to pick up those types of stuff. I'm more drawn to things that maybe I know a little more about um, when the higher prices are at yard sales. But I found this guy there and it's just this really like it's kind of heavy gold um, stapler. And I thought it was a dog on the top, but again, uh, the person at the yard sale, because I, I had said about it being like a dog stapler, he's like, oh no, that's actually a lion. I don't know. Well, I didn't look this up while I was at the yard sale, uh, but I did see when I got in the car and I checked it out, I looked at um, solds on eBay and one sold for like 30 some dollars. So I paid $2 for it and it is from Anthropology, and their stuff is usually pretty pricey. So I kind of figured there was a chance that this, I could get more than $2 for. Um, and there's even a couple staples still in it. So I thought that was a good deal and it looks like it, you know, one did sell, so that's great. And then I went to a yard sale that, you know, nothing was priced, but again, I was seeing a lot of like old, antique, vintage type stuff, but nothing marked. And I'm thinking like, oh gosh, I'm interested in some stuff, but I was scared to like hear what she was going to say. So I was seeing some like um, glass hens and I was like, how much do you want for your hens over there on that table? She said, oh, a dollar a piece. What? A dollar a piece? I was like, can I take one of your cardboard boxes because I think I'm going to load it up a little bit. And she just started laughing. She's like, go ahead. So I filled a cardboard box uh, for, I think my bill was $10. I got a bunch of stuff off of her dollar table just insane um I don't really know you know resale value of this stuff all of it so far yet I didn't look it up but um for a dollar a piece I am not gonna let that sit so the hen that I was most interested in was this guy here and this is this is a slag glass hen my mom has a purple one of these it's well, this one's purple too, but hers is a much darker purple and it's slightly bigger, I would say. Um, and there's no way I could ever, ever part with it. So to get one of these for a dollar is just crazy because the ones that are made of this, what they call slag glass, definitely go for more money. So I, I'm probably selling this one. I was thinking of putting it with her other purple one, but... I think she'd be all right with me, you know, trying to get some money from it. She would tell me to sell hers, but there's no way, no way, mom. I'm not, I'm not selling hers. Um, so for a dollar for that, that's, that's crazy. I wish it were a, a larger one, but I am not complaining for a buck. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe she only wanted a dollar a piece for these things. I'll show you the big one next. I didn't take all of them. There was a milk, like a white milk glass one that I did not take. Um, I just, you know, I, you can, you can yell at me if you want to, but I didn't take all of them. Someone else will get a good deal. But I did take this big blue one. Isn't this gorgeous? My mom collected these things. So whenever I see them, I just automatically think of her. So, 
it's just so pretty. I love the color of that. It's a gorgeous blue. I don't have any kind of like bubble wrap or anything in my trunk. I've just been like kind of using uh, reusable grocery bags to kind of make it so I don't, you know, hurt, hurt anything. And then I got two small ones, these little mini ones. This one is just this gorgeous fiery red orange. And when Eric and I were at the auction one time, we saw a bigger one of these, or in, I swear it was this color. Um, and I wanted it, but some lady who worked there like really, really wanted it. And I just, you know, I didn't bid against her or anything like that. And she was so tickled pink because she wanted it so bad. So now I do have a little mini one. So I'm probably going to sell all of, all of the hens. And then the last one I picked up was just this little like amber colored guy. And this one I think might have been from like a souvenir shop or something because on the bottom there's a sticker that says Nature Bridge, Virginia. So maybe like back in the day they were for sale in like um, souvenir type shops. I also took this guy. I was just so drawn to it. It's a camel and it's made of brass. It's very heavy, but it has a bell on the top. Ding, ding. So I don't see any markings or anything like that. I did think I looked this up as well in the car and I think um, one sold for like 20 ish. So I got to clean them up a little bit, but you know, for a buck, I figured why not? Then the last thing I got from her dollar table was this little gobble figurine of this little girl. She's got an umbrella and a basket. So $1 for that awesome and then the last thing that I got from her sale was this purse and she wanted four dollars for this but I was like you know what I will pay it it's just so unique um so it says it is made from genuine kangaroo hide by Lispeer Trading Company it still has its original tag and I mean I love animals you guys don't hurt me. I absolutely love animals. So this is like a very depressing thing. I understand. Uh, but you know, it might be worth something. <laughs> so I had to get it. I love the fact that it's vintage. It still had the original tag and it's unique. It's interesting. I mean, I've never seen, I've never come across a kangaroo hide purse before while thrifting or yard sailing. <laughs> okay, so the inside is slightly dirty. I mean, obviously, um, with age, things get discolored and that type of thing. But I was looking in here, and there's a dime. You guys know, you find them stuff in purses, it's starting again. So, that's awesome. So, that for $4, I'm not quite sure... Um, you know what it's worth but I figured it's probably worth more than four dollars but that is everything for my haul I was going to go to another sale um, out of town that had a lot of like vintage stuff in their listing but then I had seen that they um, had an antique booth so I'm assuming I am assuming that their prices are probably on the higher side I am very tired, I am hot, I am hungry, I am thirsty, I'm kind of blown out from driving already. So I think I'm just gonna go home. I got some eBay packages that I have to get together. I gotta run to the post office and then I think I'm just gonna go home, eat something and get this video edited and relax a little bit. So um, the yard sale is also tomorrow, so there's a possibility I might still get to it. I just don't know for sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You'll have to let me know what you thought down below, and I will see you next time. All right, guys, so this is going to be a slight bonus content to probably a video <laughs> posting. I don't know uh, when this is going to go up in a video, but um, I do have to take my packages to the post office. Eric and I went thrifting today. Um, I had
had seen a curb alert pretty much right by the post office. So I am going to stop there, see if there's anything left before I drop off my packages. So we'll see <laughs> if this pans out at all. So stay tuned. Found the free stuff. So we're gonna take a look, see if there's anything here. It looks like a bunch of books, some purses, Polaroid flash gun. This looks old. It's like an old camera thing. Oh, this is pretty. Check this out. It's like a. How does that work? It's like a little makeup box. Take that. It's a little creamer. That's pretty. We'll put it on a pile. How about that? It's in here. Some sort of big old candle. Journal. Some books. Thing. I honestly have no idea what this is. <laughs> Lots of books. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Princess. Jewel. Oh my gosh, I had this on cassette tape. Absolutely loved it. For old times' sakes, we gotta take that. You can doodle it. It's like someone was definitely doodling. a little better. I just saw a couple purses in here. A little Ralph Lauren bag. Zymo. What the heck was that? Something in my window. Hi guys. I'm just gonna do my haul right here in this person's driveway area by the garage. Anyway, so I took a Paula Abdul CD. I used to absolutely love Paula Abdul when I was younger. I had this cassette tape and I played it so, so much in my little Brown Fisher Price uh, cassette player. So I got it just for, for some fun. I'm going to put it in on my drive home. Um, I took this little creamer guy here. This is Sadler, um, made in England, so that's really pretty. And then I also took this big guy. This is this huge, thick crystal vase. It's absolutely gorgeous. It says crystallery, crystallery, fully handcrafted, made in Turkey. There's like a little, um, sticker back here. It looks like they were trying to sell it for $3 maybe at a yard sale. So um, if it's not really worth anything, I'll just keep it. Eric doesn't buy me flowers too, too often anymore, but you know, when he does, I'll have a nice big vase for them. So yeah, I'm going to get going now. I, I already took my packages to the post office because I, um, Goodness gracious, can I get out of here? I'm just gonna go this way. Um, I don't know where I am now. I um, already 
just took my packages to the post office because I wanted, I didn't know how long I was gonna be <laughs> there digging around. Um, so I already took my p packages, so I'm on my way home. Eric wanted me to look, um, to see what gas was. I don't know exactly where I am. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way home. Success. <laughs>